Is CAT7 backward compatible? With ever-changing technology and cabling requirements, many businesses are looking to future-proof their cabling. However, they are not always ready to go to a full-on high-specification system. Rather, they want to be ready for when the technology requires it. Therefore, a common situation is installing the main data cabling in a high-grade cabling specification but maintaining a lesser grade of hardware and connection cabling. Thus a higher grade of cable is installed such as CAT7. Can you be confident to answer the question is CAT7 backward compatible? What is a CAT7 cable? A category 7 cable is generally called a CAT7 or CAT7A cable. It was first designed to be used for the cabling communications of 10 gigabit Ethernet. However, theoretically, it can support 40 gigabits and 100 gigabits at shorter distances. A CAT7 cable offers bandwidth up to 600 MHz. Thus in simple terms is 6 times the capacity of CAT5e and 2 and a half times that of CAT6. Simply put, a CAT7 cable is what we recommend you use when wiring your smart home. The first consideration with CAT7 is that over the standard structured cabling length of 90 meters it only has the capacity of 10 gigabit Ethernet. Thus the same as CAT6A. CAT7 supports the theoretical capabilities of 40 gigabits per second and also 100 gigabits per second. Thus it is desirable but unfortunately, it can only achieve this at reduced distances. Independent testing has shown the capability of 40 gigabit in distances up to 50 meters and 100 gigabit up to 15 meters. However, this is dependent on bespoke hardware setup and isn't a ratified standard. Therefore this is why CAT7 is more commonly seen in data centers or home installations where the installation runs are shorter. However, the frequencies that allow the CAT7 cabling to reach such impressive speeds are currently not available on any home network. Thus it might be able to transmit at such increased speeds but the hardware in the market doesn't yet need this capacity. Thus the consideration is then installing CAT7 for future usage when hardware improves and is a higher standard. This is more desirable than the disruption of re-cabling the building again. If I install CAT7 cabling is CAT7 backward compatible? The CAT7 cable is compatible with the CAT6, CAT5, and CAT5 cable categories. It offers 90 to 100 meters 4 connector channels using shielded cabling and is designed to transmit signals at frequencies up to 600 MHz. CAT7 cables require full shielding of twisted wires called Screen Shielded Twisted Pair SSTP, or Screened Folded Twisted Pair SFTP, wiring, which is further eliminates alien crosstalk while significantly improving noise resistance. This way it allows the user to get maximum speed even with long cables. The CAT7 cable differs from previous Ethernet cable standards in that the CAT5 and CAT6 are available in several ways, however, the biggest advantage of the CAT7 cable is its ability to protect twisted pairs, which can be noisy. This is achieved with increased and greater shielding. Thus this significantly improves signal loss and corruption. CAT7 cabling is usually terminated onto GG45 connectors, which in addition to the standard 8 termination connectors they have 4 additional points of contact. In a CAT5E, CAT6, or CAT6A connector there are just the standard 8 points of contact. However, the connector is still suitable for an RJ45 connector. Therefore a CAT5E, CAT6, or CAT6A patch leads can be plugged into a CAT7 connector. The reverse is true for using CAT7 patch leads into a lower grade of permanent data cabling. Situations where CAT7 is installed and used backward compatible. CAT7 cabling is installed into the fabric of the building but CAT6A termination modules are used. This is sometimes to reduce initial cost and other times due to manufacturer limitations on a CAT7 or CAT7A connector. A full CAT7 structured cabling installation is undertaken including GG45 modules. However, CAT6A patch leads are used. 
the limitation on longer runs is 10 gigabit and therefore CAT 6A patch leads are sufficient and a lot more cost effective. However, the cabling is in place for future technologies. A full CAT 7 cabling installation is put into a new building but the client brings over their existing hardware and patch leads and connects. This could be CAT 5E, CAT 6, or CAT 6A. Therefore the system runs at its old speeds but is in place for the future. This isn't very common but has been the case on past projects. Better shielding. The CAT7 cables incorporate a better separation than the previous standards. In addition with its additional shielding, it has noise protection much stronger than other components, greatly reducing signal loss. Thus each pair of wires are secured in shielded sheaths and an additional layer of shielding protection also over the entire cable. As a result, the cable undergoes a strict procedure to prevent signal loss at long distances. Furthermore, for the full shielding and performance benefits, the special connectors of GG45 should be used. In addition care should be taken to maintain the bend radius and installation guidelines to enjoy the full functionality of this cable. Conclusion. Is CAT7 backward compatible? If you have smart home technology or are in a situation that requires shorter links, CAT7 cables are the perfect match. Under 100 gigabit Ethernet, cables will reach 15 meters and up to 50 meters under 40 gigabit Ethernet. However as previously stated this is a non-ratified standard. Due to their higher grade requirements, most data centers are moving beyond CAT7 and straight to CAT8. For further assistance or a free survey, please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.